Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and somebody sent me this file earlier today, and they want to change the individual lines to different colors. And this is made up of rectangles and somewhat squares. Uh, just word of warning the person that's doing this. There's a square, but you still have the line. So if you're going to die cut this or whatever you were saying, uh, that would cut twice, and like this line would cut twice. So we need to, you need to kind of think about that. I'm going to go and delete this. But let's say we're going to make all four lines red, okay? You can't really see the ones that are on top of the black, but it made all, all the box red. So to make individual lines different colors, you need to go to object, convert it to a curve, and then select it all go up to object, well, we actually have to take the shape tool and then select it all and right click and break it apart. <clears throat> now these lines are individual and you can move them around as you can see, but I had them all selected. So if you just select that one, you've got that one. But what you can also do is uh, reselect it with the pick tool. Well, maybe we'll have to do it with the shape tool and then go to object and break the curve apart. That's going to make the lines individual. So now you can take this line and make it red. You could take this line and make it green. You could take this line and, and see this is part of that line. I would move, I would set my nudge factor on like, well, I don't know millimeters, but I'm going to say 10. And I would move that out of the way. And then you could make this line uh, blue. So you'd have different lines. And I'm thinking if I was going to cut this out, I would have the outside cut, but I'd have the inside dotted lines to be able to fold the box. Now, this is where you need to think about uh, your double lines here. So after you've done this, you could actually delete that line and then nudge this guy right back, and then that would not be a double cut line. Anyway, I'm hoping I understood the question correctly. So if you're gonna do that all the way around, and you know, since really both ends are the same, uh, you could very easily uh, just delete this end after you've changed all your colors and control D to make a duplicate. See, that's a very good reason why I don't like my duplicate distance, but only thing, but zero, zero. And you could control D a duplicate and then mirror it so it would be just like the opposite and then take that node right there, the new one and have it snap to there. And now you have that green and red line on both sides. I don't understand the purpose of the lines or the purpose of the colors, but just, you know, double think about cutting that line out. And then if you wanted to take this line and make it into a dotted line, um, now I don't know if he's printing this or cutting it out with a laser, but a laser would cut that prep. Well, this would be a solid line because this would actually be a cut line, the outside, but the green one where you would want to fold you could pick one of these dotted lines. And of course, before I ever do anything like that, I would uh, definitely test it out to make sure that's what you want. Anyway, I hope that answered his question. If not, he'll let me know. Thank you for watching.